Hey everybody, it's Jenny McGarvey and I am back with another week in my plum paper planner. So last week was that rainbow stamping week and it was wonderful, but there were a couple of colors, the pink and the purple at the end of the week that did have a little bit of heavy shadowing. And so I am going to cover that up. Now, let's be clear, I wouldn't have to, it's not significant bleed through or anything like that, but it was showing through fairly heavily. And I do have a lot of stickers, so why not take the opportunity to just cover that shadowing? I am using the sticker books from the Teresa Collins Be Happy box, and there are a lot of really, really pretty stickers in here. However, there are quite a few pretty stickers that I wouldn't use. So I am taking those pretty stickers that I wouldn't use and creating a cluster on the right-hand side that covers up that stamp ink. Now, I really, really love the floral box at the bottom that I turned on its side, and so it's sort of the focal point for me just because I like it so much. And let's be clear, I actually really like the others. They're just not the types of stickers that I ordinarily use. And I do have sort of a theory on this, which is that because I've been paper crafting and planning so long, I understand that these things pile up even when you're a little bit more judicious than you know peers or other people you see online. And so you're just going to end up with stickers. And so I want to find a way to use them because otherwise they're either gonna get given away or thrown away. Now, let's be clear, I don't mean stickers that I hate, that I'm like, oh my God, this makes me wanna puke. I just mean stickers that I'm like, yeah, this isn't really my favorite, but what can I do with it? Or this is a sticker I wouldn't ordinarily use. So like they're on Wednesday, those black boxes. That size isn't a sticker that ordinarily works in my applications. It may work for great for what you use it for, but for me, it doesn't get used a ton. So why not use it for layering with my stickers? It's better than staying in the sticker box and or in the sticker book and getting thrown away or getting just stuck on a shelf in the back of a closet. So that's where I'm at with sticker usage these days. I'm trying to create beautiful things that I really enjoy and if I can use some stickers along the way that I wouldn't ordinarily, that's great. So now these basic boxes are always just a favorite of mine, especially the black ones. I really love the contrast between the black and the white. And then this week when you're adding in the blush pink, it's oh so pretty as well. Now the Teresa Collins box is a perfect example of those stickers that I don't ordinarily reach for. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I actually like them. It's just that they aren't ones that I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta use those. So I found them when I was flipping through, looking to do some work in my daily planner and I decided that there was a lot of really pretty ones in here and I wanted to use those. And then I also pulled out those other floral stickers because they worked well together and I was able to really find a nice combination of blush colored stickers. Now you can see I am both writing directly on the page using the highlighter first and writing in these boxes as well. They are helping me keep it interesting, keep it flowing, keeping it looking good. Remember, my goal is the end of the week. So like at the beginning of the week, sometimes things look a little bit wonky, right? Like I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Oftentimes, most of the time, I get to the end of the week and I love it. Now there wasn't a lot going on on Monday and you can see that I did add the few things that I needed to add there, but it got left mostly blank and it worked out okay because it was already so heavily decorated thanks to that gigantic cluster to cover the stamping ink on the back. Now for the, you, those of you that are not super familiar with stamping or my stamping videos or those types of things, you can absolutely avoid shadowing, heavy shadowing and bleed through. You absolutely can. I just don't care that much, so I didn't really worry about it for this particular week. Like I had no business using some of the inks that I used in the way that I used them, but I didn't care, it didn't matter to me, this wasn't a problem. And so if you're thinking, eh, I don't wanna stamp, I don't want bleeding, I don't want shadowing, you can absolutely avoid that, FYI. Sorry for the tangent. Okay, so we are through with Thursday, and you can, or Tuesday, I'm sorry, and you can see, again, I didn't have a lot of things to include. Some weeks are just like that, right, where there's just not a lot of stuff that you need to write down in your planner, and it's honestly kind of a welcome reprieve, am I right? So I'm just going through and taking those white spaces and adding beautiful elements that fit. 
So obviously I'm sticking to a black and white and pink color palette. Green with the leaves goes with the floral. So I'm not really considering it an additional color, even though, I mean, obviously it is, but I'm not choosing red stickers or something like that. Now, I do want to continue to mix things up. So on Wednesday, there's lots of things that I needed to add, and I am busy alternating between highlighting and writing directly on the page or using boxes. So sometimes that does mean that I need to use the decorative stickers to break those things up as well. And I also, you can see I'm adding some icons. Sometimes when I just initially plan, I just don't feel like it. I just don't feel like initially adding those icons. I don't know why it feels like a step I don't want to take, but the beauty of it is, is that I'm going to come back to this multiple times throughout the week. So when I am in the mood, I'll just go ahead and add them. And that's what you're seeing here. I finally was like, oh yeah, let's get those cute little icons on the page because I really do love them. It just, because I'm not in the mood to do it when I first plan doesn't mean that I don't love them, right? Now, several of the Happy Planner sticker books have a lot of really great icons, and I absolutely love them, and they're adorable. Now, sometimes I forget about certain ones, like, for example, the teeth ones. Those are ones that I often forget about, and then I end up with a larger stash of those. But it does not mean that I don't love them all the same. Okay, so we are on Thursday, and we can just continue to build with the same ideas that we're already doing. We're sticking to the same color palette, and we are sticking to alternating. Now, you can see I just put down a decorative full box sticker. It just means that, okay, there is a large chunk of space that I'm not going to have any to-dos or plans or happy mail or meals or anything like that that I would ordinarily document. So adding these full boxes is great. A, the decor decorative one already is beautiful, and then B, that other one down at the bottom, not one I would ordinarily use. I'm just not a huge user of those types of stickers. So let's use it to layer the floral and make it feel a little bit more significant. Now, I also like to use the little ones as well in that cluster because I love to have that look. So the full box is the background, and then you have the three, the visual triangle of the three florals, and it's just so cute. Now this pink color brush lettering pen is so cool. I love the color, it's really pretty, and I'm super stoked that it goes really well with the rest of the colors from the week. I also really like them because the tip is super small, which is great for writing in my planner because obviously the I can't write huge or anything like that. Like I would wood with a Tombow marker or something like that. Now again, everything is individual to everybody, but that's how I feel about planning and using the decorative writing with the brush letter markers. Now, I know a lot of people, when they create videos, they don't show you flipping through the books. I like to show that and maybe speed it up just a little bit because I like you to see the process of choosing a sticker. So for example, I wanted that strip, like a washi strip, for example, and I wanted the black and white because I wanted the contrast. And I also didn't want it to have words because I already have other stickers that are have words or phrases. And so I wanted to find one that had a pattern and was black and white. And I want you to see that. I want you to see the design process that goes into this versus just like, okay, these are the stickers I'm gonna use, but I don't explain to you why I use them because then you don't really learn anything, am I right? I mean, you get to see beautiful things. Certainly that's inspiring, but I want you to learn something too if we can do that. All right, so this is that other sticker book that I'm using, the floral. It's really pretty. There's a lot of beautiful florals in it, of course. And honestly, I find that I do really like florals, but I end up with so many. And then there's, of course, a handful that I'm not really that fond of. So I do like to find ways to use those. And I was excited that these went fairly well with the Teresa Collins stickers and the patterns in that book as well. So now we're just on to Sunday and we're going to continue adding. Now you can see right there I put the box right next to where I had written directly on the page because I do like to try to alternate in the columns as well if I can do that. That is it for me this week. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.